We're looking at a very interesting selection of 10 uh, mid-19th century uh, children's or juvenile books. The first one is uh, this Samuel Goodrich, Robert Mary's Museum. Look at that wood engraved frontis of a Native American there. And this was a periodical, actually, that was later bound up um, by the publisher to be issued as a single volume. Let's see here, but they were, in fact, monthly, uh, a ma monthly magazine aimed at children. And it's just profusely illustrated, Bat Family, throughout with uh, woodcut illustrations. Um, there's another volume bound in. It's sort of a Sommelbond. Although the pagination is continuous, the periodical was issued uh, with that pagination on the assumption and belief it would be bound up at some point later in the future. But just a rich source of wood engravings uh, for the era, including some large ones such as this one of the Golden Isle in China. Look at that binding there with the large urn with wreaths. Look at the spine, 1844, dated with the instructor uh, telling children's stories. The next book has got another beautiful uh, binding of the era, a little bit rough on, along the joints, um, but still sound, nice uh, end papers. Uh, this is 1847, um, General Lafayette. There's a wood engraved frontis signed in the plate here. And this book uh, has throughout it um, f numerous uh, woodcuts, full page of various scenes uh, of his life. Um, and it appears there's some staining throughout this, no doubt from handling and being looked at over the years. This next book has a great spine with animals on it, uh, gilt. It's uh, ornately uh, stamped in uh, embossed there. And this is by an old hunter, Thrilling Stories, a giraffe hunting. Oh, yeah. Uh, look at that attack on four lions. Um, so this is all about, I don't know, just going out into the wilderness and shooting various types of animals and beasts. Uh, look at this. Look at that Native American. Look at these woodcuts. They're very, very uh, primitive. Um, and sort of crude. It's almost like a, it's, it really is a form of folk art, this type of wood engraving. Attack on Brookfield, Massachusetts, and Deerfield. Look at that. That's interesting. Oh, there's, this is packed with Native Americans' uh, images and stories. Indian parents, the treachery of the jaguar. Look at that. that treachery of a jaguar. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> an animal being an animal in the wilderness. Oh, look. Charge of a wounded elephant. Oh my goodness. Okay, so next one, oops, <laughs> is this, Birds and Fishes, Their Natural History Habitats and Instinct, uh, 1861, Cincinnati. That's an interesting uh, imprint, date, and location, actually, uh, Civil War. And let's see if we can get the back up here. Okay, and then we've got this Rolo storybook with woodcuts in it as well. Look at that uh, outstanding half title, uh, ornate and uh, frontis. And here, this is learning. This is again a profusion of these wood engravings throughout. The text block of this is a little bit shaken, but still the book is basically sound. And then what we have here is a like sort of a group of. Uh, different titles, all from the same series, called Aunt Hattie's Library. And uh, this is Ida's New Shoes. These would appear to be, it would have seemed to me about 1860s or so. They could be, well, let's just see what, oh, 67, right, so 1867, right. And this title of this one is Maggie and the Mice. So these are stories uh, about uh, young girls. And this one has a title of The Sheep and Lambs. Okay. And this one 
is, oh, The Lost Kitten, K-I-T-T-N. Hmm. And then the final book is, well, I can't, I don't know what that is, Film's Birthday? Lily's, oh, that's Lily's Birthday, there we go. And so, these 10 uh, 19th century juvenile books are available online from me, Brian DeMambro, uh, in Dover, New Hampshire.